our topic for discussion tonight is Zambia under the new administration. Honorable Lusambo, um, you ran your race as a party and the Zambians decided uh, during the August 12 elections. Now it is your turn to give support to the new administration. How are you going about doing that? Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Canadian viewers out there. We are in a, a democratic uh, a country. Uh, Zambia is a democratic country, and uh, as, a, as a democracy, uh, we have a responsibility uh, as a political party uh, to do uh, checks and balances for the government in, in power. Uh, for us as the PF under the able leadership of His Excellency Edgar Chagolungu, as president by then, uh, we did a recommendable a job for the people of Zambia because the people of Zambia, they wanted us to, uh, to, to construct uh, Zambia and uh, we transformed uh, Zambia. So uh, uh, running, our, running our race is not something that uh, we can say we ran uh, uh, our race because we are still uh, uh, working and we are still explaining to the people of Zambia the things which uh, we did uh, uh, for them. And uh, today uh, we have the UPND uh, in power and I can assure you that uh, uh, the UPND, uh, they don't know what they are, uh, they, they are doing. Uh, uh, they did uh, promise the people of Zambia uh, a lot of things. And we are just uh, uh, looking at them and uh, uh, advising uh, in, uh, in Parliament right. on the issues which uh, uh, they promised the people of Zambia. So we are taking it uh, uh, slowly. slowly, slowly it, yes. it must be very difficult to sit on the left side of the house after so many years of uh, you know, driving the seat of uh, national affairs. Um, yes and no. Uh, uh, yes in the sense that uh, we had a plan and we still have a plan for the people of Zambia. We wanted to um, uh, to transform Zambia and the people of Zambia, they are there to attest to, uh, to this. Uh, on the other side, I can say uh, uh, yes, because uh, we are now learning uh, new things uh, in opposition on the, on the other side. But it's very good again for my people in Kabushi constituency and for my enemies as well. You know, as Boman, uh, Chilosha, Lusambo, the bulldozer, I do have uh, a lot of uh, uh, friends, I do have a lot of supporters, and I do have uh, uh, enemies in, my, uh, in, in, in our political uh, fraternity. Uh, to them, when I was uh, in parliament as a minister and uh, following the, 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 the parliament uh, uh, rules of a minister, how the minister is uh, supposed to, uh, to behave, how the minister is supposed to engage, how the minister is supposed to debate, because we are in, in, in we were in government and uh, as an executive. So most of the time, uh, we had nothing to uh, to contribute when it comes to uh, to the, the, the business in the house, unless uh, the chief whip. There's a debate, there's a motion in Parliament, and uh, they pick you to speak on that particular uh, motion. And the EO, if you are um, uh, defending your budget as a, as, as a provincial minister. So my enemies thought, uh, no, Bowman is just in state house is saying, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was uh, laughing at them. I said, oh, uh, they don't know what uh, they are talking about. But today, we are there. And uh, uh, we are trying to, uh, to protect the interests of the people of Zambia. Again, they are talking. Now, Boman is talking too much in, in Parliament. But I haven't even started talking. I haven't started talking. I will be talking starting next year. I will be talking starting next year. So if you, they think I've been, uh, I'm talking too much, let them wait for next year because it will be punch for punch. They will silence you very soon. But anyway, that's not what I need to ask you. There's no one. There's no no. There's no one who can silence me. The only uh, uh, the only person who can silence me is uh, is the my, people. It's, no. It's Almighty God. Right. Because uh, uh, He's the Creator. He's the one who has created who created me, and if He wants me not to talk, He's the only person who can who can do that. The other people. No, 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 because this is my job. My job is to talk. You represent the people of Kawushi. Um, 
let's talk about the copper belt yeah. where where you're coming from yeah. Yeah. Uh, predominantly it was regarded as the bedroom mm. for the pf and you really thought you still had it mm. but so much had shifted and looks like you were still in past glory um, you are perhaps one of the few that retained a seat on the on the copper belt. Uh, how do you hope to regain the popularity on that key swing, you know, region of, of, of Zambia as far as uh, PF is concerned? Uh, thank you very much, Kennedy, and the viewers out there. Yes, copper belt is a swing state uh, for um, the political uh, situation in our in our country. If the president uh, uh, has to be declared. Uh, president of this country, Copper Belt has to uh, to be on uh, uh, on uh, the side of that uh, particular uh, president. So for me, I can assure you that first of all, Kabushi constituency. We we'll talk about Kabushi constituency, which is the bedroom for uh, uh, for PF and many other um, uh, constituencies uh, on the Copper Belt province. Kabushi constituency, uh, Canadian viewers out there, we gave President uh, Edgar Chagualungu 100 percent. We gave him a landslide. A victory. President uh, Edgar Chagualung won in Kabushi constituency with a landslide. All councillors in Kabushi constituency, eight councillors, they won with, with, with a landslide. The mayor of the city of Undola, the reason why he's sitting on that seat of the um, um, mayor uh, seat, it's because of the votes which we gave him from Kabushi constituency. 18,000 plus votes from Kabushi constituency we gave to uh, to, to the mayor. The MP for Kawushi constituency, uh, Honorable Boman Chilosha Lusambo, the bulldozer, he won with a landslide. So Kawushi constituency we have locked. It is a constituency what, what where... Did, what did you do different that your friends didn't do? Mm. No. Uh, I can assure you that uh, today if you, you go to the Copper Belt province and you talk about UPND, they will laugh at you. They will laugh at you. I don't the believe people, Go there. Why, why did you lose in the first place as, as a party? Exactly. One, we lost the 2021 uh, uh, general election on uh, a lot of uh, uh, issues. One, the UPND, they came up and told the people lies. Okay? They told the people, we are going to give you free education. They told the people, we are going to, uh, to pay for uh, the, the loans for the students. Okay? They said they are going to give 1,500 salary increment across the board. And definitely, the people want, started thinking, oh, this, maybe this is the Messiah. Uh, let us try uh, this uh, particular person. Maybe we will do things differently. But uh, alas, today, when you go to Kabushi constituency, when you go to Kalulushi, when you go to Ndola Central, when you go to Buanamkuba, when you go to Chifu, they will tell you, excuse me, what are you saying? You are talking about UPND here? We don't want to listen to UPND because the things which they promised the people, they failed to do it. They have failed to do it. Now, they want to come up with uh, uh, other excuses. No, uh, we are going to, uh, to implement a free education after a 2022 budget. No. Uh, we are going to uh, to give free education by removing the PTA and other uh, uh, user fees which uh, the, 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 the learners they used to, to pay. So they, they, are, they are confused. They are confused in the sense that even the president himself, uh, President Aka in the HLM, today is regretting to be in State House. And he is regretting are, are because you, you, the things are, which he, he thought... Uh, you will find in State House and the thing which he has found in State House is totally different. It's totally different. But he hasn't told you that he's he has regretting. told me. He, he has told, told me that he's regretting. Action speaks louder than words. He has told me, one, by failing to appoint permanent secretaries. Sixteen years in opposition. Sixteen years in opposition. You can't fail to constitute government up to today. You can't. I recall President Chiluba in 1991, immediately he won the general elections. He said, I am now going to, 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 to come up with my team, the team which will help me to transform Zambia. Five days, 
five days, Kennedy. Five days. One, two, three, four, five. President Chiruba appointed ministers. President Chiruba appointed permanent secretaries. That is a sign. Are you, are you aware? Uh, that, that, is a, that is a sign. Are you aware that the controlling officers who are uh, permanent secretaries are currently undergoing an audit so that they, they, they are cleared it, it doesn't it doesn't it, it doesn't matter doesn't that take time no for it doesn't matter included? it doesn't matter look here uh, 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 kennedy a president who's ready to govern you can see him by his fruits first the president he told us first you see the ministers whom I'm going to give you. You see, just wait. You see the ministers I'm going to give and you. you have seen? We have seen. We have seen Jack Mwimbo. We have seen Tayad. We have seen Chushi. We have seen myself. And these are the people we have been uh, eating with. These are the people who have been in parliament with us. Well, so there is nothing that we have seen. Well, perhaps going we, to know, we know their contribution on issues to do with governance. We know them. Me, I thought uh, they are going to give us uh, the 12 disciples of Jesus. Because who would have said, wow, this is the different things which he was talking about. He went on to say, you see the governor will give you. You see the governor will give you. He gave us uh, a, a Danny. This is the person who was there in PF. The person who contributed to the downfall of Kwacha to Dollar from 7 to 20, 22, and this is the person he came to announce that he, I've given you the, the, the governor. To, but, to me, but, I thought but, that's go, he's going to give us a governor who's going to be a different from the people we know. I think you know that. I, I can assure you that the president who is ready to govern, you can see him by his fruits. You can see the president. He has failed to announce a permanent secretaries. Now is the trying to give us uh, district commissioners. We don't need district commissioners. Those ministers, uh, uh, provincial ministers, you know, those provincial ministers who are in provinces like Copper Belt, like Southern Province, they can't work without uh, permanent secretaries. So as we speak, they are just uh, sitting ducks, ministers. What he says is, is meticulous, so he will give you um, a good... You know, sec uh, permanent secretary. Would have seen, but, but would have let, seen, let, let, Kennedy would have let, seen the good uh, ministers, let, would let, have seen the good uh, governor, would have also be expecting is, is good it, permanent secretaries. Here, here those the, ministers today, those here, ministers today. Here's the problem I have with uh, you politicians. Huh? Sometimes you just criticize for the sake of popularity. The way they did. Because, you know, but you don't have to do that. Because here is the thing. Okay. It's too early to judge them oh. as far as performance is concerned. Are you sure? You promised, himself, you promised 90 days. What did you do in 90 days? Uh, let me first of all uh, uh, differ with you, Kenny. Himself, he was in, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know if it's Copper Belt or Eastern Province where he said, uh, I'm walking the talk. I said, you, are, you can't uh, walk the talk now, Mr. President. There's nothing that you have done. Tell me that uh, one thing which you have done for you to walk the talk. The person who was walking the talk is the president, Edgar Chagualung, because of the many or unprecedented development which he gave to the people of Zambia. And he was walking the talk. Today, when you go around Osaka, you see a lot of infrastructure which President Edgar Chagualung worked on. The, the, the economy, Osaka, is transformed. Many then many provinces are transformed. So President uh, Edgar Chagolungu, if he say, I'm walking the talk, the people of Zambia, they will say, yes, sir, you're walking the talk because you did this, you did this, you did this. Now President Taka in the HDM, he has after, appoint after being appointed, 30 days I'm walking the talk. Talk no, for what? No, no, no. You, you hmm? best... He's mm. walking the talk on based what? on the manifesto. Which manifesto? The manifesto that he gave to the Zambian people. Which manifesto? The mandate no. uh, um, by which was given the power to... Look, you, to walk, you walk the talk based on the things which you have achieved. They said they're going to create decentralization or... I mean, they're going to devolve mm. the administration. Are you aware that... Uh, Let, let's talk about the budget, first, by the way. First, before we go there, are you aware that the uh, decentralization 
started a long time ago. Of course. Decentralization started a long time ago. And uh, it is not uh, President Aka Inde Ichirema who has uh, come up with a decentralization of government uh, the only system. One, is, is the only president, one was given president, them 25 president, million at CDF President, president Edgar Chagwalungu President Edgar Chagwalungu started decentralization. I remember very well the monies for the Ministry of Livestock and Fisheries and part of uh, monies for agriculture, it came to our province and in many other provinces. President Edgar Chagwalungu in our cabinet, he was even telling ministers, we are going decentralization way because I want the funds to be reaching the intended people. Mm. Who are these intended people? The people in the, uh, in the wards, in the constituencies. President Takainde Ichirema came on 2022 budget. He gave us uh, as uh, uh, constituencies, 156 constituencies, 25.7 million uh, million kwacha, and uh, the total budget for for, for, for a country is 172 uh, million kwacha, billion kwacha, with 37 billion, which is questionable because they have to clear this uh, uh, 37 billion because it is not uh, adding up to 172 billion uh, uh, kwacha. So the 156 uh, uh, constituencies putting the, 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 the monies together. The budget has given us uh, 4 billion kwacha. And this 4 billion kwacha, in percentages, it has just uh, uh, coming to 2.3 or 2 percent, which is a drain in the ocean. Because uh, the president, when he's uh, going around with our, uh, our fuel, our plane, uh, using our taxpayers' money in, in, in districts, is uh, saying, I'm going to bring the money from Lusaka, the money which uh, uh, the people in Lusaka used to, 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 to steal. I'm, I'm bringing it to you so that you can use. I don't know the people who are stealing anyway. The president should to tell us the people who have been stealing government's, uh, the government's money. Because government money, it is uh, uh, audited money, and no one is allowed even to touch one way on those uh, uh, monies because it is not uh, uh, a one person's money it's a money for the people so we want to know those people have been stealing the same money in Lusaka so that we can also know them because we are very annoyed that these people have been stealing money which meant for the people of Zambia well, well, so the 25 million I mean, the 25 million which you are talking about the CDF mm. we have um, a CDF um, act and the CDF Act, the way it works, it works in the sense that this money, the hundred, uh, the 16 million, which uh, the 1.6 million which we are getting, that money was going direct in a, a council account. This money, the Constituency Development Fund, it is not coming direct in my hands. It is not coming in my constituents' office. So no. it will not point at you then? It is coming at council. Mm -hmm. And council, they work with the Kabush constituents. And who is a representative for Kabush constituency? Definitely I will be consulted. Okay? I will be consulted. And I don't want to be blamed. I don't want Aka Inde's failures to come to me. Because right now he has failed to run this country. He has failed to run this country and I don't want his failures to come to me. Okay? And I don't want government to abandon their core responsibility of developing this country. If they want us to develop this country, if they want us as constituency to develop this country on our, uh, using the CDF, first of all, let them increase their allocation to CDF. Um, if, for example, they gave me 500 million as Kabushi constituency and they, tell, they, 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 they gave me all those uh, responsibilities, I can assure you that I will be... Uh, the, the upest member of parliament because I will know that I will construct maybe three uh, strategic roads. 